Vocabulary. Education. 1. Work in pairs. Discuss the subjects in the box. Which subjects did you like at school? Were there any subjects you didn't like? Why, why not? Maths. Science. History. Literature. Art. Languages. It. Information technology. Page 154 Photo Bank. Photo Bank. Lesson 4.2. Education. 1. Answer the questions. 1. Where did you go to primary school? 2. Which subjects did you enjoy at secondary school? 3. Have you been to university? What did you, would you like to study? 4. Is the education system in your country similar to the one in England? 18. College or university? 16 to 18. Fay College or sixth form? 11 to 16. Secondary school? 11 to 18 years. 7 11. Juniors? 4 to 7. Infants? Primary school? 4 to 11 years. State education in England? Maths? Physics? Chemistry? Biology? Geography? History? Languages? Art? Design and technology? PE? Physical education? IT? Information technology? RE? Religious education? Drama? 2. A. Complete the phrases with the verbs in the box. Make. Wear. Do. Take. Give. Play. Study. 1. Study art, music. Study a foreign language. Study online. 2. Play sport. Play games. Play a musical instrument. 3. Make mistakes. Make friends. 4. Do, take a test. Do, take exams. 5. Give a performance. 6. Wear a school uniform. B. Which of the things above did you do at school? Did you enjoy them? Write, plus, or no experience next to each one c work in pairs and compare your answers who enjoyed their school experience more 3a work in pairs discuss who was your favorite least favorite teacher at school why were your teachers traditional in their approach to teaching do you think this was good or bad B. Read the text. Match paragraphs 1 to 3 with topics A, C, below. B. A school where students make the decisions. C. Children watch videos outside class. A. Making mistakes is okay. C. Read the text again. Discuss. Which of the ideas in the text do you think is the best? Which is the worst? Would these methods work in your country? Our traditional ways of learning. The best. Read about some alternative schools of thought. 1. The alternative school. The alternative school, in Lancashire, UK, offers a different type of schooling for young people who are having problems in mainstream education. The school offers an innovative and interesting educational program, which is designed specifically for the individual. Students can decide when they come to school, and which subjects they want to study. They don't have to come to school every day. They can choose to start with just a few hours a week. The school uses an open-door 
policy where students are allowed to leave lessons if they are bored or unhappy. To the flipped classrooms. Many classrooms around the world are adopting a flipped classroom approach. This learning model switches classroom learning and homework. In a traditional classroom, the teacher explains the lesson to the students in the classroom. And the students study homework outside class, where they have to work on their own, and can't ask anyone for help. So, in a flipped classroom, children can watch a video of their teacher giving a lecture on the subject at home. They don't have to do any written work. When they come back to the classroom, they have to do the more traditional exercises. But they can ask the teacher or their classmates for help if they don't understand. Three starting young. A child learning music with the Suzuki method has to start as young as possible. Even two year old. Children can learn to play difficult pieces of classical music, often on the violin. They do this by watching and listening. They learn by copying, just like they learn their mother tongue. The child has to join one end, but doesn't have to get it right. They soon learn that they mustn't stop every time they make a mistake. They just carry on, said once again. The children have to practice for hours every day and they give performances once a week, so they learn quickly. The parents must be involved too, said the trainer, or it just doesn't work. Grammar. Can, have to, must. 4. Read sentences 1 to 6 and put the verbs in bold in the correct place in the table. 1. Students can decide when they come to school. 2. The students can't ask anyone for help. 3. They have to do the more traditional exercises. 4. At the alternative school, you don't have to come to school every day. 5. They mustn't stop every time they make a mistake. 6. The parents must be involved. 2. Possible. Allowed. Can. Not possible. Not allowed. Can't. Mustn't. Necessary. Have to. Must. Not necessary. Don't have to. Page 134 Language Bank. Can. Have to. Must. Use modal verbs can. Can't. Have to. Don't have to. Must. Mustn't to talk about present obligation. Use can to talk about something which is possible. Allowed. You can use dictionaries during the exam. Use can't to talk about something which is not possible. Allowed. You can't park here. Use must, mustn't, have to to talk about rules or things that are necessary. We have to study for our exam. You must return the books to the library before Friday. You mustn't chew gum in the classroom. Use don't have to to talk about something that is not necessary, but it is possible, allowed. We don't have to be there until 8 o'clock, but we can get there earlier if we want to. Use he, she has to in the positive, and he, she doesn't have to in the negative. She has to pay for the exam. He doesn't have to do any extra work. 4.2 are underline the correct alternative. 1. We have to get up early to catch the train. 2. Children can stay with their parents if they are very quiet. 3. I'm afraid I'm early. It's not allowed. 4. They have to put a notice on the door so you know which room to go to. 5. You can have to park your car here. It's free on Saturdays. 6. You mustn't to smoke in the office. It's against the law. 7. 
You can't leave your coat on the floor. Hang it up. 8. We don't have to worry about transport. A taxi will take us to the airport. B. Complete the sentences with can, can't, have to, don't have to, or must, mustn't. 1. You can leave the room when you have finished the exam. It's allowed. 2. We don't have to book a table. That restaurant is never busy on Mondays. It's not necessary. 3. You underscore must have to log in using your PIN number. It's necessary. 4. You can eat as much as you like. It's allowed. 5. Sadie doesn't have to bring extra clothes. I have got lots here. It's not necessary. 6. You can't, mustn't wear jeans in the nightclub. It's not allowed. 7. Harry has to, must work on his pronunciation. It's necessary. 8. You can't, mustn't do that. It's illegal. It's not allowed. Unit 4. Recording 4. 1. They don't have to wear a uniform. 2. They don't have to wait for the school bus. 3. You can choose which subjects you want to study. 4. You have to work hard. You must work hard. 5. But you can choose to work when you feel like it. 6. You have to be at school at 8.30am. You must be at school at 8.30am. 7. You mustn't wear trainers. You can't wear trainers. 8. You mustn't use your mobile phone in class. You can't use your mobile phone in class. 9. Some people think that children who study at home can't go to the exams and get the same qualifications. 10. But they can, and they do. C. Listen and notice the pronunciation of have to, hefta. D. Listen again and repeat. 6. Work in pairs. Discuss two or three similarities in differences between homeschooling and going to a normal school. Do you think homeschooling is a good idea? Why, why not? Similarities. Students have to study. They can take exams, get qualifications. Differences. Homeschooling. Students can study when they want to. At normal school they have to study when the school decides they should. At home they don't have to wear uniform. At school they have to wear a uniform. At home they can use their mobile phones. At school they can't use their mobile phones. At school they have a variety of teachers. At home they probably only have one teacher, a parent. Or in pairs. Read the statements. Are the rules the same or different in your country? Do you think this is a good or a bad idea? Discuss. 1. In the UK, children have to learn a foreign language at school. 2. In the UK, you can take exams in art, cooking and sport at school. Children in Thailand have to sing the national anthem in the morning. 4. In Singapore, children must learn most subjects, maths and science, in English. 5. In France, children don't have to wear uniforms to school. 6. In Japan, children mustn't be late for school, or they can't get in. 7. In Spain, children don't have to eat at school. 
they can go home for lunch. 8. In the UK, children can eat a vegetarian meal at lunch. 9. Children in Poland must repeat the year if they fail exams.